To begin the 975 XL repair process, you will begin by closing the inlet and outlet shutoff valves. You want to open the number two, number three, and your number four test cocks to release the pressure from the valve. To service the first check valve, you will unscrew the check valve cover using a large wrench. Use extreme caution while removing the covers. The covers are spring-loaded and under tension. Firmly hold the cover while unscrewing to prevent unintentional ejection of spring or cover, which could result in serious injury. Next, you will remove the cover, the spring, and the poppet assembly from the valve. You will want to turn the poppet over and inspect the rubber seal ring for cuts or debris. To remove a damaged seal ring, remove the screw and retaining washer. For a temporary fix, you can flip the seal ring over to use the smooth side while waiting for new replacement parts. Next, you will want to inspect the valve cavity and seating area and remove any debris. You will want to inspect the sharp edge of the seat with your finger for any damage. A damaged seat can be replaced with new parts and a special tool. You want to make sure to lubricate your O-ring and be careful not to cross-thread the new seat when installing in the body. Now you place the poppet assembly back in the body. Center the spring on the poppet. Center the cover on the spring. Push cover and thread back into body. Tighten with wrench. You will repeat this procedure on the second check valve. Before servicing the relief valve, you want to make sure to check the troubleshooting section of the instructions. The most common cause of discharge from the relief valve is debris in the number one check valve. You will unscrew the bolts from the relief valve cover counterclockwise. The cover is spring-loaded, so leave two bolts opposite each other to remove last. Hold the cover tightly in place as you remove these last two bolts. Pull the cover straight away from the valve body. The relief valve cartridge will stay in the cover. You want to remove the spring. You will inspect the sharp edge of the seat with your finger for any damage. A damaged seat can be replaced with new parts and a special tool. Make sure to lubricate your O-ring and be careful not to cross-thread new seat when installing in the body. Gently pull the cartridge from the relief valve cover. Inspect the seal ring for any cuts or embedded debris. You want to disassemble the cartridge by unscrewing the seal ring screw. Inspect the diaphragm closely for wear or holes. Inspect the O-ring on the upper plunger for cuts or damage. For a temporary seal ring fix, you can flip the seal ring over to use the smooth side while waiting for new replacement parts. You will want to clean all the parts or replace damaged parts. Carefully reassemble the cartridge and tighten the retaining screw. Next, you will lubricate the O-ring on the upper plunger. You want to place the spring around the seat in the body. Insert your cartridge assembly onto spring. Place the cover onto the cartridge assembly. Make sure the sensing hole in the body is properly aligned with the mating holes in the diaphragm and the cover. Next, you will push the cover toward the body and make sure the cartridge centers into the seat guide ring. Thread two screws into opposite holes by hand while holding the cover in place. Now you will thread the remaining cover screws into place and you will tighten all the screws evenly. Your valve should be tested by trained personnel to confirm that it is working properly. Now you can close the test cocks. Open the number one ball valve slowly to pressurize valve. Inspect for any leaks. Open the number two ball valve a small amount and wait for the system to pressurize. Fully open the ball valve once system is pressurized.